Good morning, people, and welcome to my laboratory. I'm just fucking we are joking. Uh, guys, today we are going to be making a very interesting video in which uh, we are going to be testing first of all what the hell this is. If you don't know what this is in India, you can buy this piss colored liquid in these cheap plastic bottles from the local Dukandar <laughs> and they sell it as acid. Now, we don't know what acid this is, so we are going to be testing that today. We have three mediums of testing because there is three possible things that this acid could be and the rest, I don't think that is possible at all. So first one is, if it's hydrochloric acid, it will react with aluminum foil to have a very visible reaction of releasing hydrogen gas and forming aluminum tricolor. And then we can just ignite it. But that's a bad idea. Yes, we should not ignite it. Don't let it get very hot. Second test, if it is sulfuric acid, which is slightly unlikelier, but also it kind of makes sense. <coughs> Whatever. Uh, we have sugar. Sulfuric carbon acid, pillar. Dehydrated sugar. We all know that turns it black. And if it is, uh, and if the um, Indian government is giving us nitric acid, which is very, very unlikely, uh, it will react with copper to produce copper nitrate. In and the some nitrate. Nitrogen dioxide. Yes. There will be some great brown fumes. And if it is uh, per chloric acid, per bromic acid, or per iodic acid, we are going to be dead by the end of this video. So let's hope it is not that. It looks like sulfuric acid. Is it dense enough? It looks viscous slightly, like very shitty sulfuric acid maybe. Probably. Okay, we have like no light at all, we can't see shit, what do we do? I could turn on the flash. Epic! Okay, so uh, aluminium test number uno. We should probably close the acid bottle. That might be a good idea. <laughs> Sorry. My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're flash banging. Yes, okay, so let's test. Hmm. Maybe it's a slow one. I can see some. Okay, that is, I think that is definitely hydrochloric acid. <laughs> Look at this. Epic! What's up guys, Scuff the Indian Hacker here. Uh, we are going to be now distilling the hydrochloric acid with this amazing setup as you can see here. Do not copy us at all, please. This is no, just don't. So what's up guys, budget explosions and fire from India here. Uh, we have completed our distillation. We did not film the distillation process because it was agonizing to perform. So imagine if I did it myself and I filmed it. That would be stupid. Come here. <laughs> Don't do this. So we have some concentrated hydrochloric acid. Now I don't know whether the actual hydrochloric acid is supposed to be slightly yellowish, but it is. No, it's not. Uh... Probably because we left the other one for like a few hours. I mean, maybe, but we, I don't know. Maybe there's some chemical that carried over in the distillate or something. That's why I said to filter it first, but it doesn't even matter. We can actually test it. It's pretty good. We can test That's it. That's what matters. It reacts with aluminum even more vigorously. It works and it works nice. So it is A+. Plus. Uh, if I'm going to tell you something, honestly, uh, Yes, it was very painful and I want to describe why it was. We do not have a pump, so to pump it by hand, yes, I'm actually holding the phone like very weirdly. I hope my face is showing up and all this, yes. I had to pump the water into the condenser manually. And you know how I did that? I choked one end and I sucked the water through the other end. Yes, I did that. It was not pleasant. I was sucking up cold water into the condenser while there was a cloud of hydrogen chloride gas 
around us. Thank God the wind was blowing away from us, so we did not really inhale uh, much. But yes, we are not feeling any burning feelings in our lungs. It was just like a quick, like nasal. It's like kind of like acetic acid. It burns a little bit and then it goes away very quickly. It was not like a sulfur dioxide burn that we had that day. He just threw a piece of tube at me. Thanks, Abhishek. So we had to go to great lengths. Abhishek, what the f? We had to go to great lengths to extract this little bit of acid. And now we're going to make touch powder with it. That is epic. Huh. My wound opened up. This is not from the acid, by the way. It's not an acid burn, it's just a, um, a blister. I washed my hand, don't worry. My blood does not taste metallic today. I don't know why. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Crackhead Chemists. This time I am behind the camera and Abhishek is in front. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so guys, the purpose of making the Haku for um, today's experiment was actually to make nitrogen triiodide. That's what we are doing right now. We are uh, reacting some... ammonium iodide with sodium hydroxide this way. to okay. make sodium iodide, and then we'll use HCl to get the iodine out. Now, you might say that we can also directly add the hydrochloric acid to the iodide or ammonium to get. Iodine, but uh, Abhishek thinks that there is a very little risk of it actually turning into nit nitrogen trichloride, so we are not doing that. Yes, hello. Since a lot of ammonia was being made, we made a trap. The color changed a lot, as you can see. Yep, it's even clearing up. Guys, we are going to be starting to precipitate out iodine now, very hopefully. So, let's begin. Pipe it, because you are going to be able to get it in the hydronium ions release. So if you guys didn't know, the entire room is filled with ammonia gas and it stinks. That is ammonium chloride by the way, which you might be present. I realize that. Huh? I realize that. Okay, I think the ammonium chloride consumes like we should start seeing more Yep. Iodine. Yeah. The solution is changing. Focus color. Uh can you look towards this please? As soon as all the ammonia has been turned to ammonium chloride, we will start getting iodine. The feeling is slightly slow. This is pretty douchey and stupid thing to do, but oh well. There we go. Hi guys, we are back with our chemistry project. So now we have the sodium iodide here in solution. We are going to be taking off the watch gloves in the reaction And we are going to be oxidizing this back into elemental iodine by the virtue of this amazing chemical. And what the hell is that? Hydrogen dioxide, 6.5%. The okay. chemist's cell double strength, so that's the effect. So, let's add it slowly. As you can see, the solution just completely changed color. It has gone black. 
and this is the step where we are going to be precipitating out the iodine solution. As you can see, the solution has become a little murky and slightly violet. Ah. That is iodine vapor. Okay, that is a lot of iodine. Hell yeah, brother. That is successful. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. It sure. Uh, should we be breathing this? No. <laughs> Good point, Abhishek. <laughs> yes. I'm inside. Alright guys, now we are going to be filtering off the iodine and the rest of the reaction solution which may or may not have reacted, we will react it later. So for now, let's enjoy our spoils. And in case you were wondering, again, I, uh, our eyes burn a lot. Slightly. My mind do not as much as Abhishek. Abhishek is sensitive. sensitive. To everything apparently. He's a sensitive soul. So be nice to him in the comments. <laughs> this is even going on with you. Maybe, absolutely. I think that's coming. Oh, yeah, because you're successful. Why? Ayodi, Nayodi. Hi, hi, I'm a kid. I'm dumb. I am stupid. You yeah, should have said that on the camera. What? It's fine. If you're in the hill, it doesn't even matter how much I swear. Maybe you can go to my channel. Your parents take care of it? No, I don't see it. Then? I can go. Don't do this. Ever. I guess I'll just give you the live feed. Crash on. Now, I'm not a normal Nikhilesh anymore. I'm an iodized Nikhilesh. I didn't even feel anything. Yet I still... It's time to filter it off. It is so hot. Jesus. Hot as. Shit ass. Okay, at least subsequent filters will be easier. What will I use to clean up the I filter guess. that failed? More filter paper. Why? Because. Oh, that's why. My table has been iodized. No! Don't do this. Don't do any of this. This is very irresponsible chemistry. Please don't do this. Says the person. And if you do, do not uh, link it back to us. Otherwise, I will kill you. Indeed. You do the rest of the filtering then. Guys, he just left me, please. Why? Oh. Hi, guys. Epic. Uh, that is pretty epic, though. Okay, now uh, go ahead. Look at that yummy iodine. Delicious. Your finger has been ajani. It's not. <laughs> I'm still not iodized. I have been iodized. Ah! I'm fine. A little this bit. Look at this chala that I got, guys. It really hurts. Please help. This is not from the acid, by the way. This is from beating the dust out of sofas. And if you think I am lying, I am not. Excuse me, let me have a look. Okay, the filter speed has not slowed down. We'll see you when this gets filtered. Yeah! So guys, here it is. Our iodine filtered and dried out. We have uh, not extracted just this much. There is more, but it is over there right now. Uh, and yes, when we eventually filter it all, We'll collect it and dry it up and store it in nice vials, but this is it for now. Epic!
What's up guys it's your boy Badshah and today we are going to be doing a nitrogen triiodide test made from the same iodine as the last of the video let's do it